Hello everyone. Good morning. Happy Monday. Welcome to the Danny Cam. You are the D Squad and this is McKellar Motivational Mondays. Welcome to everybody who is joining in. Boy, there's so much light. There's so much natural light that you get blown out. Here we go. That's better. Good morning. Good morning, Florida. Good morning, everyone. It's a little earlier than normal and I'm on the road but I do not want to miss a McKellar Monday Motivation, so here we are. <laughs> Hello to everybody who's joining in. Um, so today, today's um, McKellar Motivational Monday is choosing the way we look at things to free ourselves from our perceived limitations. Uh, specifically, choosing the word and instead of the word but. And I, this is a very, very simple trick, um, and I'll explain how this works in just a moment. This is a great time if you think some of your friends or followers would enjoy to go ahead and share. Click on the number of viewers, or um, swipe up or to the side, and for the next 30 seconds, I will give shout outs to everybody who is sharing, because I really do appreciate all of your shares. That's how the D-Squad stays strong. Uh, thank you to, oh by the way, and I missed a few people who are sharing, so I apologize. Thank you to Finky73. Uh, um, uh, Cheryl Frey, GE1970, El Viejo, Wolfie1183, some people are losing connection. Uh, Aaliyah Wilson, Marilyn Forever, Banana Fiend, I love it, Gabe Tough, hello Brazil. Annie Wilner, Soup Beer, Jason Bremer, Derave Light, Grumpy Bull, uh, Beer Ridge, El Viejo, hello, from, hello UK. Allison Sykes, 15, and um, JC DM, Will DMQ, Allison Sykes. And uh, by the way, I know we're having some connection issues, so there, there's probably a delay, and it probably means that some people are, are sharing right now and I can't see it. Thank you, Rick Bass and Amarok. And thank you to everyone else who's sharing. Let's go ahead and get started. Wow, this light is so bright. Uh, it's the snow. I, I'm, um, <laughs> I've been skiing, and so we're still in snow country. All right, here is the main message. Here, two things in your life, something that you want to do and a circumstance that you have that you believe is keeping you from doing the thing that you want to do. So, um, and so you're, you're thinking to yourself, I want this, but here's this circumstance. So start thinking of, um, of examples of this for yourself where you think to yourself, I want to do such and such, but here's this circumstance that keeps me from doing that. And we're gonna change that word to and, and you would be amazed at how it just changing that language will change the way you're thinking about that circumstance. For example, um, I want to exercise more, but I'm so busy. This is a classic one. Instead, you could think to yourself, I want to exercise and I'm so busy. Hmm. What are these things I'm doing where I'm so busy that I can incorporate exercise into? Because I'm so busy and that's gonna somehow help me get my exercise. Like, think of it that way. Think, um, yes, and here is part of the way I'm going to do this thing that I wanna do. So I want to be a voice actor. All right, but well, what's the thing that's keeping you from doing that in your mind? You think Periscope partied too hard last night? <laughs> Fear of failure, okay. Um, but here, what we're talking about specifically is get to, not have to. Um, something that you want and something that you think is actually keeping you from doing that. So um, it's something really simple, like I, 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 I need to, I wanna make uh, breakfast right now, but my child is taking my attention. Well, uh, or my child needs my attention. How about changing that to, I need to make breakfast and my child needs my attention. Hmm, you know what? My child's gonna help me make breakfast this morning. I have done that one many, many, many times. I want to pursue acting, but I'm not in LA. Okay, that's great. I want to pursue acting and I'm not in Los Angeles. Well, guess what? If you're not in Los Angeles, that means that there aren't as many actors surrounding you, which means there isn't as much competition, which means that whatever opportunities are there and there are opportunities all around for acting, whether it's theater, even local television, um, like local news, for example, you'll have less competition. So, and then, and then jump on that and run with that. Start looking for the local opportunities. Start looking for the opportunities that you have because you're not in Los Angeles. Good morning, photo girl. Thank you, Mitch. I'm 
I mean, I, and I, I may have uh, missed some. When I'm talking, sometimes I can't look to see the comments. So please send me again if you came up with an example for yourself that you'd like me to talk about. And um, it, because I would love to read it if I can. Thank you to oh, thank you for all the hearts. You guys are so great. Hello, Orange County. What's another example that we were talking about? My husband's here with me. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> Um, the rage I probably did. I probably did get your D squad. Any, I um, I've been saving them in a D squad uh, folder. Vacation at work. Oh yes, I want to go on vacation, but I have too much work to do. This is uh, what my husband was facing with me a week and a half ago for Sundance, and we found parts of the schedule where he could work there in the hotel. You know, I have to. I want to go on vacation, and I have work to do. Well, maybe this vacation is going to afford me some moments of. Um, of quiet where I can get more work done than I would have otherwise perhaps even if just for a few few hours oh you bought my books thank you look look and buff nice name <laughs> I want to eat well oh yes I want to eat this is something we are always this time. yes I want to eat healthy but I like sweets this is one that plagues a lot of people okay so let's change the way we say that um, Oh, you want a promotion, but you want more time with family. Okay, will you hold on to that one for a second? Okay, okay. Um, so, if you want to eat healthy, and uh, and you say, I want to eat healthy, and I like sweets. Well, guess what? There are a lot of healthy things that are sweet. It just takes a little bit of research. So, that don't involve, you know, sugar, something you can make with honey or maple syrup, things that are healthy for you. Honey is very healthy for you. So, I want to be, I want to eat healthy, and I like sweets. Great, now you're on a mission to find things that are sweet and healthy. I want to buy organic, but it's more expensive. Okay, I want to buy organic and it's more expensive. Well, it's more expensive, yes, okay, well that's, that's a little tricky of a one, but um, organic food can be more expensive. First of all, it's not always expensive. Look how blown out this is, this is so weird. Places like I'm, I don't I'm not I'm not endorsing anything right now, but Ralph's owns Whole Foods, and you can actually find a lot of the same organic produce at Ralph Ralph's for less money. It's just the way it is. So there's a little tip for you guys. But to go back to how this works, money is an interesting is an interesting topic. If you wrote down what you're spending money on, like really specifically what you're spending money on, and and you might if like let's say you go to Starbucks to have this fancy coffee that costs you maybe four or five dollars, right? You could take that extra money and buy some organic produce that um, that extra money will more than cover the difference and maybe make your own coffee at home. For example, if you want that, it doesn't have to be a limitation. But money is a very complicated issue because money is relative and everybody has different amounts of money. People have a lot of emotion attached to the way they feel about spending money. But that is one way to attack that one. Somebody has said promotion and family. Yes, I want a promotion at work, but I want to spend more time with my family. I want a promotion at work, and I want to spend more time with my family. So you can start thinking about it in terms of, if you get that promotion, that you'll make more money and you can go on vacation with your family, perhaps. You can make that a goal, where those two things are in line with each other. That's really what this is about, is putting the two things in line with each other. There's always going to be the juggling of how do we handle our own lives. But if you if you're thinking about two things as being in opposition, that creates so much conflict. We have to start thinking about things in line with each other. I want a promotion and I want to spend more time with my family. Once I get this promotion, look at where we can go on vacation together and how much fun it's going to be. Or um, I want this promotion and I want to spend more time with my family. I'm going to work on my time management more because I can have both things. I can have dinner with my family and then I can do more work after dinner. I can spend that time with my family and then instead of sitting down and watching um, sports or sitting down in front of the computer and doing God knows what on the internet, for example, <laughs> they're just, if those are your, you know, two things that you want, you believe are in conflict, you can put them in line with each other and just take a look at your life and see how to make that work because you can make it work. But before we can believe that we can make it work, we have to start thinking of it differently so that we have that option in front of us. Good morning. I hope that answered that one. Any other examples you can think of? I want to make I want to make more money, but we'll lose. Wait, this is complicated. I want to make more money, but we'll lose health insurance for my heart patient daughter. I don't understand how those things. If you want to make more, if you make more money, would that give more money for your daughter that you could use for your daughter? That one confused me. I don't understand that one. Can you figure out how to interpret that one? 
So these are two. So the goal is, so we got something you want and something that you believe is a block for that. Some circumstance that you think is an obstacle for getting that. And instead, putting them in the line with each other. It's a powerful tool. Instead of saying, I want this, but that. I want this and that. You keep hearing organic will help your autistic son. You know, uh, Jenny McCarthy has a lot to say about that. I have not studied it myself. Want to be best friends with Danica, but she's too cool for me? <laughs> That's not fair. Am I here with all you guys right now? Yes, I am. <laughs> it isn't all about what we want. Well, that's true as well. But sometimes we want, we, you know, a lot of the times the things that we say we want are things that are really healthy for us. And those are the things that we believe we have a block to. If I say I want that cookie right there and then I eat it, we didn't even consider the things that should have kept us from eating that cookie. But, we, but it's more likely for people to say, well, I want to be healthy, but I can't or I want, you know, in some way. Anyway. That's what this is about. My Color Motivational Monday is about finding ways to understand our own power for our own lives, that we can make our lives better. We have the power, we are more capable than we realize, and finding those little tricks and, and tools. Um, uh, oh, I'm getting some information here about the organic. Yeah, well, that's a lot of people say that. It's about getting, finding and being in touch with the little tics, tricks and tools that we all know about, but we forget about, which is why sometimes I do them on uh, these scopes about music or, uh, you're welcome, Jean, uh, about music or just, again, like this one today, little tips and tricks, how to think about things differently, changing the word but to and. Another one that I, one of my first ones was changing I have to to I get to and how powerful that is. For the things that we have to do in our lives every day. To say, no, you know, I get to do this. Not everybody has the opportunity to do such and such. Oh, thank you, photo girl. D Squad rocks personal power. I love it. I was actually thinking, and yes, Jennifer Marie, I'm pretty sure that's you, D Squad, uh, -Squad Jen. Uh, try to eat gluten free and eat fruit. You know what? Um, if you. To, to do something like changing to gluten-free, I would say do it slowly, just slowly but surely. It's hard to change diet drastically. So, um, I feel like I was in the middle of saying something and then I stopped what I was saying. Oh, I know what I was saying. Um, okay, so is there, is there any D-Squad t-shirts? Does anybody else have any examples that they want to throw into the mix here? I know I've covered a lot of things. I tend to talk very quickly and hopefully you guys got what um, you needed to or wanted to get out of this one some example that actually res resonates with you. There are no shortcuts in life. Right, Danica? I actually don't believe that. <laughs> I think that there are shortcuts. And, you know, more than shortcuts, because shortcuts sounds like you're cheating the system somehow, but like life hacks, right? Things that, that make, um, make life better. You would like to exercise, but the laziness is winning. Well, then I would recommend a system of rewards. If what what do you consider to be lazy? Like sitting on the couch and watching TV? Then how about making up a, a little rule for yourself and make a chart and write it down and become accountable for it. Say, if I do 30 minutes of uh, jogging or whatever, then I will get to um, sit down and watch my favorite show. Or if you have access to a treadmill and a television, you can do both at the same time, which is kind of awesome. That's what my husband does. He likes watching TV shows on... Uh, on Netflix and he does it on the treadmill and also um, your favorite music right or there are probably a lot of like podcasts and stuff that you can get on your iPod and you can just listen to those while you jog or take a walk makes a difference and I'll tell you guys something this is totally random and I'll probably do I'll probably do a scope just about this but breathing like really deeply breathing makes everything better it sounds so simple it's like drinking water and breathing. <laughs> Those two things make such a big difference. And I know because of being in high altitudes lately uh, in the mountains skiing, you don't get the, the same kind of deep breaths. Then when you finally do, you feel better. Everything works better. Not having oxygen to the brain is devastating. I mean, truly, actually, some of the, some of the worst, uh, saddest birth defects can happen when a baby gets oxygen cut off, um, maybe just for a couple seconds. It's, it's incredibly devastating. And uh, yeah, just remembering to breathe. It's, it's absolutely life-changing. Yoga is something that I, yoga and meditation are two beautiful tricks and 
tips, life hacks to feeling better. And I say less happy versus pissed. That, <laughs> there you go. I think one of the best benefits of yoga besides the stretching is the breathing because you breathe more slowly and deeply and you feel fantastic. And I swear that a big part of why you feel so great after doing yoga is breathing. So we could just sit here and breathe for like five minutes. We'll do a breathing scope sometime. Yes, yeah, sleep is great, but sometimes we don't have time for as much sleep as we need to get. I'm just telling you guys, breathe. So when you're thinking about this and you're saying, hmm, so I'm gonna try to, you know, I've got this thing that I want, but I've got this perceived limitation. Even before you do that, breathe. Yes, great posture is, is helpful as well. And you know why great posture probably helps? I bet it opens up your lungs so you can breathe better. I'm on a breathing rant right now. Rehab now for ankle and you're impatient. You know, I remember when I sprained my ankle in Taekwondo back in my 20s, the, um, uh, my instructor said, this is going to teach you patience. I was like, what are you talking about? And yeah, I did. I got caught up on a lot of really good reading. Actually, so uh, to the person who just told me they've got their ankle uh, injury and they can't exercise, I mean, there are things you can do. You can certainly breathe. <laughs> And uh, the book that really helped me was called uh, The Seven Spiritual Laws of Success by Deepak Chopra. And I read that book so many times there when I was just laying there. It helped a lot. It's a great book. Deepak Chopra, Seven Spiritual Laws of Success. It just helps in life. In fact, I should probably look at that book for, for uh, inspiration for these. I think somebody just sent me some Sanskrit, but I don't know how to read it. Lifting your arms up over your head and taking deep breaths helps. Oh, that's cool too. I did not get to black belts, I got to blue belts. And then I uh, twisted my knee or something. I want to leave Twitter, but I following you. Dang it. Topics I would love to hear. Clean eating, skincare. You know, skincare is secondary, like way below eating, eating right. Eating right does everything for your skin and your hair and the way you feel. So I think we are almost getting to our destination here. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope that uh, you follow Deepak. Deepak's on Periscope a lot. <laughs> so I hope that you all enjoyed this. Just to recap for those who joined in late, we're switching from the word but to the word and. And this is for when there's something that you want, a goal that you have, whether it's eating better or getting more exercise or something simple like I want to go make breakfast but I have to pay attention to my child and changing it to and I want to make breakfast and I need to pay attention to my child right now. Involve your child in making breakfast. You want to eat better, but you like sweets. No, you want to eat better and you love sweets. So just do a little research to find out some really fun, healthy, sweet things that you can eat because there's plenty of them out there, like stuff that you can make at home with honey and peanut butter, like yummy stuff. I mean, it's all out there. And um, so that, that's just recapping. Thank you, don't leave us, I'll be back. Um, thank you so much. If any of you found this helpful and hadn't had the opportunity to share yet, please take a moment to do that. You can watch the replay. Thank you so much for watching the Dana Cam. You are the D-Squad. We are D-Squad strong, and I appreciate you all. I will see you throughout the week, and again, of course, on Motivational Monday, next Monday, which I'll be doing another song one. I plan to do another music one. This time it's gonna be cathartic songs. Songs that just help you just get it all out. We've done we've done happy songs, we've done motivational songs. This time it's going to be cathartic songs because sometimes you just gotta get those emotions out before you can go on with your day. So send me your thoughts and your requests for those as well. And I will see you very soon on the Danny Cam. Thank you so much.